up guys and today we'll be continuing ghost stories okay last time on ghost stories we had shirotabi which was like an evil possessed bunny that like came alive and actually killed and ate people and i was mistaken i thought this was the first ghost we at least see kill somebody i mean we don't really see it happen but we pretty much see the bunny eat people but no actually um which ghost was it uh, oh, Baba Sari. It was like the Grim Reaper old lady. Because when we saw Leo talking to a chick on the phone, Baba Sari actually went to her door and killed her. So, we actually did see another ghost kill someone. So, there's that. And yeah, we were introduced to a new character named Mio Imai. She's like the weird chick that sits in the back of the class who talks to animals, living and dead. And she's the one that resurrected Shirotabi. Shirotabi? I think that's how you say it? Which was like the evil bad baddie of the episode pretty much. And yeah, it actually it was pretty bad. So they basically at the end of the episode, uh, after Shirotabi has been defeated, Shirotabi had babies, and now Mio Imai is gonna be watching over the babies now. So I don't think we're pro I honestly don't think we'll ever see Mio Imai again. Possibly, I seriously doubt it though. So we're just gonna hit play, and we're on episode ten now. So we're hitting them double digits. So there's that. Okay, three, two, one, one, bam. Is that the top of a soda can? Unless that baby's. A, I mean, it could be a baby bird, but that thing looks too big. What is that? Tsunami or bomb warning? That was so loud. It does. Nah, I don't. Yeah, that, yep. The tunnel with no exit, Anamanaki? Okay. Dude, we are starting off so strong with this episode. Holy moly. Is that Ghost Taxi? Looks kind of sussy. Oh no, he's probably good. Maybe? Mm. No. Okay, he's not good. But Wow. You know, it's funny, I don't either. Hey, we haven't seen him wear those pants in a while. Or leggings. Mommy, huh? Say that again. Oh, wait, no, I, I wrote that. So is the tunnel a ghost? Tu uh, obviously, it's a ghost. Is the tunnel itself a ghost? The whole squad's there. 
Even Amano Jaku. There's the jibber jab. We haven't heard that in like six episodes. Why is he just here? He has to be a ghost, right? Bro. Yeah, I'm not sure why they got on this. And why is Amano Jaku just chilling with them? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, there's that laugh again. Oh, what the? Whoa, Momoko's actually scared. Dude, did they just get dunked? A grave? Yeah. I have never seen Momoko scared, I don't think. Nice. So are they in like a dream sequence? Okay, they must be. I mean, how did they even get here? Amanunaki? Anamunaki? The regrets. Okay. Oh. Oh, we get to see her regret, his regrets now. Oh, are they? They're all in different dream sequences of people who are regretting. I think. Hmm. Is that the mom or... Yeah, okay, so... Bad skin condition. Oh, is it because... Okay. <laughs> How is he taking their life force? Oh, that's in the taxi. Oh. Hey, that's that's Satsuki's mom. Purgatory? Oh, because she's so close to dying. Anamaneki. Oh. 
Oh, let's go. Dynamite. Ooh, Goo Goo Godzilla. Did you hear that? That's amazing. Dude, Keitra is amazing, bro. The whole squad good? Possibly. The evil, what? Grudgy. They're like all like grudge ghosts, kind of. They all have grudges or regrets. Is the taxi driver here to actually help him this time? Was that the mom helping out? Let's go. So all of his regrets are gone now. Let's go. <laughs> oh, he went down a one-way tunnel? Is that, oh, oh, that's what it was. It was a car tire rim. That's what those things are called, right? The mom, probably, or his wife. Coke is bad, unless it's Coca-Cola, which is still bad. Alrighty, boys. Okay, this episode was interesting. Okay, how long was this? Yeah, okay. It's the same length as all... Did this episode feel extra short? Like, a huge, like, at least 10 minute chunk was cut out? Like, it felt surprisingly short. And didn't it also feel like not much actually happened? <clears throat> Maybe I'm tripping, but like, it doesn't feel like much actually happened in this episode. Like, we got introduced to the tunnel, the mommy up, okay. I think it's pronounced Mamiana Tunnel. Okay, we go. Okay. Anamaneki. Anamaneki is the name of the ghost entity thing. And the tunnel, I think, is called Mamiana Tunnel. That's how you say it or spell it, but I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. But, anyways, it doesn't. Does it. Like. What? Like, they didn't even defeat the ghost, right? Like, it's still there. So, like, didn't this episode almost feel like, like it was, like, filler? Like, it probably, obviously, I don't think it was, but it just, it literally felt like not much even happened in this episode. I know it sounds like I'm, like, dogging on this episode, but I liked it. It would just felt completely different than, like, like, the entire flow, like, it feels like they entered the tunnel. I don't know. I mean, it just... It didn't feel like anything even happened. I mean, okay. I feel like this is the first encounter with the supernatural. Or it didn't, like, have a face. Like, it didn't have... Besides the cab driver scene when he turned around real quick and he looked like a zombie. We didn't really even see the... Anamaneki, really, did we? It was just kind of like, we saw like the people who were like regretting and had things like they didn't complete before dying or whatever. But like, it didn't seem like we could have put a face to this enemy. It was just like a bunch of events that occurred at one after, like, is that making any sense? Like, we got the name of the the supernatural thing it's the anamaneki but i don't feel like we really had a face to it okay so the whole reason the gang ended up at the tunnel with no exit is because they wanted to make it home before dark but doing so you could either take the road that goes to the evil haunted tunnel or go to the road that goes around the mountain but if they go that way 
it'll be dark the time to get home or we can like take the shortcut which is the haunted tunnel that has no the tunnel with no exit so I'm it, it obviously has a legit exit but because everyone gets taken or dies when they go in the tunnel that's why there's no exit kind of like how the gang entered the tunnel but didn't necessarily exit you know what I mean so I mean yeah the, this ep it just felt weird didn't it like all right, boys, I basically just re-watched the entire episode. Okay. This isn't by this isn't by any means a bad episode. Okay, I, I just re-watched it. I let it sink in a little more. Okay. It just felt like this episode itself feels like it, it should be in a different show. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It just... It doesn't feel even remotely like any of the ep other episodes. Not in a bad way, either. It just felt completely different from anything that I'm used to from the show. Does that make any sense? Like I may, I think I'm tripping. Let me guys let let me know how you guys feel about this episode because it just felt like it was like a bunch of snippets from episodes almost pulled together. Like they just don't fit together. And the way the gang encountered the ghost was it seemed about how the show usually is. But the way they like defeated it and the way the ghosts interact, it just, it fell off. Like it felt off. Okay, so I'm not too sure how exactly or why the the tunnel is haunted. It's kind of, it's like the tunnel's haunted because there's so many people, maybe the tunnel's just built badly. So tons of accidents and people ended up dying in the tunnel. So how the ghost works, I think, is it drains the life force of the living and puts that into the spirits that died regretting how like how? I don't know guys this is the first ghost that just doesn't make any sense it's just I'm not understanding <laughs> what the heck okay why is the tunnel this why is this tunnel the way it is is the anama neki the taxi driver because when you go back and watch the part when amanu jaku is talking to satsuki he mentions that you're re, it's like replaying the memories of the anama neki while it was showing the taxi driver in his past so is the taxi driver the Anamaneki, or is he just one of the victims of the tunnel with no exit? Did the cab driver curse the tunnel, or like this some like it had, he had so much built up emotion and like regrets and feelings and all that stuff that he like ended up staying and somehow living off life forms who died in the tunnel? Like what? I'm not too sure how this works, guys. Am I crazy? And I'm just not understanding it? Or what? Because... This is the first episode where, when it's over, I'm just sitting there like, what? <laughs> I just... I, I, I literally watched it again. It... It looks like the cab driver was the Anamaneki ghost, but what were all of the were all the other ghosts the victims of the tunnel that were coming after them? And you, when they wake up in them dream sequences, they're actually still in reality in the tunnel while their life forms are being leached from them, going to the ghost to eat, eat them like are the ghosts eating them or is it trying to resurrect themselves by eating life forms of the ghosts and at the end there did the cab driver okay so they freed themselves by destroying their tombstones which resurrected them and since there were so many spirits in that tunnel were those people that didn't destroy their tombstones so they ended up dying or are they somewhere around still being leached from their life forms and if the gang would have died would they have became one of the become one of the ghosts 
shadow things in the tunnel or what? And and by the way, once again, the mom did save the day. Not through the book this time because the book seemed like it didn't... In the past, the mom didn't seem to know how to stop the ghost. The tunnel, the, the tunnel with no exit, but... Or the Anamaneki. But, but once again, the mom possessed or took the body of Momoko again. So, how is that? Okay, the mom, is she continuously watching over the gang? And how does she now know how to defeat the ghost, but not in the book? Like, how does that work? I'm not too sure. I'm hoping one of these episodes the mom like somehow comes back or something so she can explain like, how does she know everything about every ghost because like eight or nine ghosts ago this gang entire gang would have been slaughtered if it wasn't for the mom like it's crazy how clutch the mom is and she always takes the body of Momoko why is it because she's the oldest or something? I don't quite know, but I think she's only ever possessed Momoko. Is it because she's so close to God or something? I, bro, I don't know. I'm just kind of pulling at things here. I, I don't know. It's not. It doesn't make much sense, but it's a good thing she does. Because if she doesn't, rest in peace this entire gang. That's for sure. So, okay, at the end there, we saw the older lady walk up to... She had flowers, so I assume she's the wife of the taxi driver who died. But is if she walks to the tunnel, is she gonna be is she gonna become a ghost? Cause we also saw that when she was walking up, it didn't seem like she knew exactly where to go, because Hajime had to like point up there. I don't know if that's just a dub thing or what, but if she walks to the tunnel, is she just going to be taken? Or since the taxi driver knows her, because I assume she's the wife, is he just going to be okay with her? Or what? Or is she dead? Because when we saw it then, the gang was walking away. I think it was Satsuki or Momoko, or it could have been Leo. I'm not sure. One of them said, should we help her? And they're like, nah. So does that mean she's going to be, she's about to get dunked by the tunnel ghosts? Or what? I don't know, boys. I'm not sure. It is what it is. This was a very... It's not even a bad... It's just a confusing ep... I literally had to watch it twice. Because throughout the whole thing, the first time I was confused on who the heck the ghost was, for one. I still am not too sure. I'm assuming the Anamaneki is the taxi driver, or it's just the tunnel's hauntedness I'm not sure what's what but it is what it is and it looked like we saw the tunnel was indeed barricaded at the beginning so was it that they were trapped in the tunnel since they barricaded the tunnel or what or is that was that in the past or what I'm not sure but it was it looked like the tunnel was designed was designed for the fact of tsunamis or something like I'm not sure boys I feel like I just watched the Inception. I'm very confused. Please let me know what the heck this ghost is. And am I tripping in this episode? Was it more confusing than normal? Or what? I'm not sure, boys. It is what it is. I'm in it here, though. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.